who is Federico Garcia Lorca? I, I think he's best summed up by saying that he's an artist because he's not just a playwright, he's not just a poet. He was a painter, he drew, he wrote songs. He was a man of many, many talents. Well, I knew I wanted to write a play about him almost immediately because he was that interesting and his outlook on life was that profound. But I found it very difficult to write a play about him directly. And um, in the research, I came across some information about a gentleman named Tresante. But it was just a very little bit of piece of information and it immediately clicked to me um, how I could approach Lorca through the doorway of Tresante. You'll see what drives Trescante, what drives Lorca. Um, there are things in their lives that are completely different. And that's one of the things I really like about this play is that there's these two portraits of these very different men. And I think in some ways you'll, you'll, you'll see yourself hopefully in one of them. A lot of people, uh, not everybody, a lot of people ask me, how is it that this black man is writing this play? Certainly in Spain, you know, when I got up to the University of Granada, um, they were looking at me like, what are you doing writing about Lorca? You know, first of all, you're a non-Spaniard, and second of all, you know, you're this black guy. Even though the African-American experience is, of course, my, my experience, you know, and I enjoy writing about that, um, at the end of the day, I'm a human being, you know, and at the end of the day, my life is bigger than just the color of my of my skin. Listen, it may be outside of your cultural sphere and your cultural knowledge, but if you take the time to immerse yourself in that, then you can write from that from that vantage point. It's beautifully written. There's there's some great poetic language in it and some great language that is just contemporary to today. I do see some similarities between Lorca and myself being in that uh, to be an artist and to be a young artist, you have to be passionate about it. And if anybody was passionate, it was Lorca. His passions drove him uh, almost, almost insane at times. I am really looking forward to seeing everyone at Olives and Blood. I think it's going to be a fantastic show. It's going to be beautiful, and I hope you fall in love with the language that Michael wrote and some of Lorca's language as well. Maybe read one of his plays if you're uh, so inclined to do so. And I'm looking forward to seeing you too at Olives and Blood coming this fall at CRT.